Hey guys, this is Forget Master. Welcome to Season 7 Tops. Yep, now that, see, now that the Tops intro is finally done, I can finally start making Tops intros. Now, this list is going to be my anticipated games from E3 2015. Uh... Biggest rule here, it needs to be a trailer from 2015. Well, granted, from E3 2015, even if it was on the Nintendo conference. So, yeah, there will be stuff that's not from the Nintendo conference that actually are on this list. I say Nintendo because I don't have a PS4, I don't have an Xbox One, I don't have a good gaming PC. In fact, my ga PC isn't good enough for gaming, so I'll, leave it, I'll just leave it at that. I, uh, if I'm right, there's actually one exception to this. And the reason why I put that exception is, is that it's sort of announced around that time anyway. So, uh, even though there's no, um, from what I know, there is no big trailer from it for this game. There, it is announced, so it is, does count. Next, this, the, ge the games have to not be released f um, at the time of E3. So, for no Mother 1. So, that's, that's not counted. Uh, also... I'm probably going to do what I don't mention right now to Freedom Planet. Because uh, even though, yes, I have streamed it. Yeah, and yeah, actually, yeah, I've been pretty, pretty fun with it. And it actually does, I believe it, I actually would rather play that than, like, the first few uh, slots on this list. However, I'm actually still too unfamiliar with it. I'm still too unfamiliar with it. I'm still not particularly a big fan of, you know, Sonic and Sonic-esque games. So I can't really say. Plus, it's not really that anticipated for me. So, there you go. I decided not, not to change it because I've only, only tried it, like, way afterwards. And I could have just made this top way before this. So, whatever. And, of course, it needs to be on a console I currently have. So, no Final Fantasy VII Remake confirmed. No Cuphead. Or no Star Ocean. As much as I really want to play Star Ocean. <laughs> My god, I miss Star Ocean. Okay. Um... Let's just get this, let's get this going. Ten, Yoshi's Woolly World for the exact same reason why I put it there last year. Only difference is that I can kind of play as Wii Fit Trainer. Because, you know, because you could put the Wii Fit Trainer amiibo in the thing, and then Yo the uh, Wool Yoshi will change his color scheme to look like Wii Fit Trainer. That's it. <laughs> That's it, for, and the rest of it is for the exact same reason we put it there last year. No difference. Next. Okay, okay. Now, before I dive into this one, now, I was going to put a tie between that and the Amiibo Festival, but I want to talk about the Amiibo Festival first. Okay, now, a lot of you are ticked off about the announcement of Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival for this. However, my beef is with this. And you're wondering, why is my beef with Animal Crossing? Because here's, here's the thing, all this is, is just Amiibo Party, but a whole game. And like the problem, the problem I have with this, like with the meal party, there isn't that many options for who do you want to play as. Because like there are going to be just, what eight or so Animal Crossing amiibo for for the Animal Crossing line of amiibo to be used on a meal festival. Now you might be thinking, oh great, it's, it's Animal Crossing for Wii U, but it's amiibo only. But for me, it's great, it's an amiibo game, but it, it's, you can only use Animal Crossing. Like for example, if I could use, if it's if it's the same game. But I can use any amiibo I want. For example, if I can have, let's say, like have a game with, you know, the amiibo, uh, the amiibo festival where we can use any amiibo, I can have, let's say, maybe like someone I know maybe can use this, um, Inkling Boy, and they have another use Shulk, and another one use, uh, Zelda. And maybe, and maybe I can I play as, um, Inkling Squid, for example. So, yeah, like, like if I have like any amiibo festival, then I don't, don't have to, you know, get forced to get like amiibo I don't want because because apparently someone decided, hey, let's not have amiibo of Sable. What the heck? I mean, like all every single amiibo for the Animal Crossing, like a character that I don't particularly care for. It's like, yeah, I mean, yeah, KK is pretty cool, but and someone was like Reese and um, Cyrus. Cyrus is pretty awesome, but uh, there is no. Amiibo of Sable, which just kind of sucks. 
Uh, but the reason why I put uh, Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer instead is because, like, there's supposedly it's going to be a, a butt ton of Animal Crossing Amiibo cards to be used with, you know, with uh, Happy Home Designer. And Happy Home Designer all that just, like, core Animal Crossing, except you could, like, sort of control what to do with your with your um, people's houses, and you essentially, you don't, you know, play, you don't, uh, you know, fish, you don't get like, food, you don't get money, that sort of thing. Uh, it's just like Animal Crossing, except you are the actual mayor. Like, you do mayor things. Or, say, something be Tom Nook, except, except, yeah, something like Tom Nook, except, you know, you control what happens. Now, the reason, again, another reason why I prefer it is because these are confirmed to be an amiibo card of Octavian, which is actually one of my, uh, uh, when I villagers, when I stop, when I stopped playing Animal Crossing New Leaf, so I have to have at least like a lot Octavian, but the rest of the characters I don't particularly care for. Yes, there's Sable, so I'll probably have one for Sable, one for Octavian, but however, the rest of the uh, characters I like from Animal Crossing are not Amiibo, at least just yet. I mean, why the heck you don't even like uh, have Francine in there in first wave? I'm, I'm pretty, maybe you know, Francine will be in the first wave. Just I haven't shown all of them yet, at the time of this video. But, uh, I mean, why don't show Francine? Francine's one of the most popular, and maybe, like, um, who's that, who's that white squirrel that everyone loves because of its, uh, very, very specific, uh, house key? I forget. Uh, I forget. Marshall, I think? Yeah, Marshall. Uh, or I mean, my favorite, Monique, or Cube, or Deli, or Ruby, whatever. But, uh... Hopefully, I can see at least a lot of uh, Animal Crossing Mew for Apple Home Design. Then I'll probably be more interested in it than, than uh, a Mew Festival featuring Animal Crossing only. Next! Mario Test Ultra Smash! Boy, was I kind of pissed off! Show the live clip. Oh no! No! Come no! Ah! Uh, uh. Mario Tennis, why do you use these? I thought you. I thought. Uh. I thought you know better. You can't throw in the same gimmick twice, especially if it's a bad one. Yeah, thing is, like the main reason why I'm pissed off about Ultra Smash is because they kept the chance shots. Okay, here's the thing. This is something you should probably know about Mario Tennis. Okay, like aside from your know, games that like, release right at the same time frame, there's in no indication that you see the same gimmick used more than one at a time, more than once in a row. Like for um, you know Mario, like uh, Mario Tennis 64 and Game Boy Color, they're like normal. They're like a uh, normal Mario Tennis. Granted, like freaking Mario Tennis game for Game Boy was kind of cheap. Well, not cheap as in you know not expensive, but cheap as in it's it's brutal difficulty. But it's according to bro. And then there's Mario Power Tennis for GameCube and uh, Mario Tennis Power Tour for GBA. Both of them use uh, the power shot. It's sense it's like sort of like a, a like a super or a. a you know, it was like a comeback mechanic or whatever. Granted, granted, it appears a bit more, a bit too often, but uh, it it's there as, a, as like more of a comeback mechanic. But for freaking Martez Open, they introduced like a really cheap, a really cheap thing in just the chance shots, which reduces the reduces the whole point of playing tennis. All it's just like, oh hey, you do a shot, and your opponent does another shot, and hey, look, there's a thing, so you have to you have to go over there and then do the thing. And that thing will give you an advantage so huge that there's like if you just abuse that, you basically will never lose. Especially with the slice chance shot, which goes um, around the around and then just basically like unable to do anything. And the the freaking lob chance shot, which the whole reason why I had the lob counter in the first place back when I had played Martinez Open, it's really painful. However. Uh, this actually kind of hopes that you can at least can't, like, uh, turn it off. Because I really want, like, um, 
is that the only thing they, they've shown so far is that, oh, it's like a mode or something where Mega Mushes show up and you get even more of it. You get even more of a one-sided one sided match. Like, most like half the time. So, supposedly it's supposed to be like a mode or something. So, hopefully that's not in the core game. Hopefully the core game, like, I don't care about chan oh, chance of like in single player, but like for multiplayer, like, uh, I really hope like you can have like turn chance, off chance shots off because surely Taylor might not want to notice like how not fun chance shots are. But here, like, then he hopes that you can nice turn it off, you know, to make it more, make it more balanced at least. Seven Warriors Legends. Do I need to put that regular show clip again? No? Okay. Basically that on a portable. Uh, and things I use my 3DS more often than my Wii U most of the time. So, having a game that I spend like well, well over the time I currently have on Monster Hunter, well, on Wii U, but put it on 3DS. And of course, I think supposedly like, um, but uh, I don't, I don't think it's confirmed yet. But that, I don't think it's confirmed that you transfer save like save that or some other thing between the Wii U and 3DS. But I think the thing is not I think confirmed not to, if I'm right, which kind of stinks. But at least like the 3DS gives an advantage of you can you can switch between characters uh, on the fly, on the fly, which would be really helpful for A ranking things that otherwise pretty difficult to. So that's actually helpful. And plus, I call Tetra, so there you go. And the King were in lines of all things. Weird. But nothing else more to say, just that. Next. Ukulele! Okay, so not be the first thing you'll see in Indy here. Trust me. But uh, Ukulele is currently like between it, my number nine, and Bloodstained. Between those three, that's the only one I actually care for. Yes, I have played Mega Man. Yes, I have, you know, LP'd every single classic Mega Man game. So I know how Mega Man plays. But my number nine does uh, plays like half like Mega Man. So it has like elements of X and has um, a completely different mechanic of you need to dash, dash on, onto the enemy to actually beat them. It's kind of strange. So I'm not actually as interested in my number nine as like initially. And for ukulele, okay, we can look at this thing. Bro and I love banjo, okay? So Bro and I love banjo. Granted, like back um back when we had in 64, the only banjo game we had was Tui, because you know because uh we didn't see any magic of Zooey anywhere, and plus to the sequel, why bother the original at this point at that point. Of course, later on, Bro played uh, Banjo Kazooie. Uh, we both like the Gorata he's the one who was playing it, but I watched watching the whole thing. It's pretty looks pretty fun. And of course, DK64 is awesome. We both played Tonga Country a bit. Uh, that is a game. I would totally like play. Granted, we got to need of us back it up because, well, I don't work, so I don't have any easily disposable money. If I do, I'd rather spend on something else. But hey, look, you've already done pretty, pretty darn well. So here's to ukulele and your freaking awesomeness. Plus, it's Grand Cocoa, so what, what can go wrong? <laughs> Five, Runbo! And that's not because I streamed Runbo, I actually said on this stream that I, this actually was on this list. So here it is, in the middle, Runbo. Probably because I kind of want to actually uh, play, uh, you know, make videos of it online. Because uh, it has online multiplayer, it has like nine players, and it has like... Um, well, it's kind of a recent thing that it does like um, confirm to have a bunch of indies on it, like that rusty guy and um Juan Tostada from Guacamole, which I just not long ago started playing, continue playing. 
That's kind of weird. Also, there may or may not be Shantae in it. Oh, uh, because like it's not confirmed, but it's kind of rumored. So if Shantae is in Rundo, guess who's mini? Guess, guess who's gonna main Shantae? Anyway, but I do like Rumble as is, and regardless. Like, uh, it's like the idea of Rumbo, it's a really, really fun game to play online. Especially, or at least, like, with more than one, more than, um, just myself. And if I do start playing, uh, making videos of it online, it'll probably, like, it will be the first indie to be on, to, to be yeah, online videos for. That'll be pretty fun, right? Mario Luigi Paper Jam, the only pretty decent thing on that was actually shown on on Nintendo conference. Granted, it's like, there's some other thing there, but we'll get to that. Um, but for gameplay purposes, that's it. That that's that's the jam, the Paper Jam. You think you think I wouldn't make that? Anyway, so the idea is, what if Paper Mario, with with all of, of all the Paper Mario humor, you know, Bowser, Bowser's arms and. Uh, you know, Bowser's arms and uh, really, cool, really cool like, uh, dialogue made you know, by Paper Bowser, which is probably like one of my favorite like iterations of Bowser. Wow, so I have this encounter and put him in a Mario Luigi universe where a whole different set of humor gets set in, a whole different set of characters that are funny. I right, hope Fawful's in it because why would you have a Mario Luigi game without Fawful, right? So. Imagine that, so just like the idea of two really awesome um, Mario RPGs just smack together. Although the catch is that the gameplay is going to be based on Mario and Luigi. Uh, but I love the Mario and Luigi gameplay. I already do. But um, the thing is, like Paper Mario does not act like he does in, in, in um, Paper Mario. That other kind of stinks that uh, Paper Mario doesn't have like. You know the various options like he does in Paper Mario. Just like it's it's more like just like third, the third character in Mario and Luigi, really. Um, now I, I, I don't know what more to say. Just that like it's what Paper Mario was in was in uh, the Mario and Luigi universe. And supposedly it's confirmed that um, both series humor are going to be in the game. So the best part of both games, man. That's gonna be that's gonna be awesome. Again, let's hope Fawful's in it some, somehow. Even if, no, imagine if, imagine if Fawful and Dementio working together somehow, even if they're not the main villains, if um, Fawful and Dementio just work together to screw with everyone and everything. That would be awesome. <laughs> that would be awesome. As long as, as long as, hold on, as long as freaking Sticker Star is not like, evolved much at all, then we good. Like, aside from, you know, graphics, as long as, as Sticker Star isn't directly evolved in it. Okay, good. Next. There is only one punishment. The sentence is death. Try to be at peace. This one. This one. Okay. Um, what more to say? I've I said the thoughts on why I'm gonna get the the uh, what's it called conquest edition? Because like, I think I think I think uh, that's going. To, so it's kind of recently confirmed that the outside Japan, the Fire Emblem Fates, is going to be shipped the same way as in Japan. Therefore, basically, white. There's like. White and red and black and purple versions. It's like two versions, really. It's like Pokemon. And equally like Pokemon, it's gonna be a third version that's coming out later. So it's Fire Emblem Pokemon! Pretty much. And also kind of weirdly confirmed that it's gonna be like there's going to be like same-sex marriages. Like there's like one dude in the the, the version I'm gonna get, and there's one girl in the other version who can marry the player character if they're the same gender. I'm not into that, but I guess kind of cool for people who are into it. So I don't know. I, 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 I'm not into that. Let's just uh, not much more to say. Just this one is it's gonna be awesome. All right, so let's just move on to two and one.
Yup, this again. Do you really think? Do you really think that I'm going that I'm of all people and going to do a list of anticipated games and not include this? Right? Because that is the 2015 trailer, so it counts. Okay, it's Shante. What more do you need to say? You pretty much know me by now when it comes to this series, so what what is there more to say? Is that it's a trailer for a game for a series I like. Enough said. I'll just leave it at that. But the one. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Now, it's a good... I really like the fact that if, you, if there is a trailer for this, I have not checked because my internet's dead. But, uh, the fact that Brady Seca is, is now officially going to be localized, that kicks so much butt. I can, uh, uh, seriously, like, that kicks so much butt. It'll kick Yoshi's World, World Animal Crossing, Mario Tennis, and, some and like, like half of Hyrule Wars Legends straight up their butts and send them all the way, like, I don't know, to the moon or something. Okay, so yeah, that very second, so hype for this game. By the way, this is actually the like, exception I was talking about, since, again, I don't know if that's EP 2015 trailer, but they got announced around that time. So, it counts. Like, right around that time, like a bit before, but it still counts because it's my list. I want it to count. Plus, I have, you have some reason to have Bravery Second in there. So, Bravery Second! Woo! So anyway, that's it for Top 74. Uh, top 75 is going to be we're going back to Monster Hunter. Uh, again, for those who want to see Monster Hunter, uh, sorry for the one episode break for some reason. But we're going to go to Monster Hunter with a Top 75 the Giant Monsters and Monster Hunters 3, 4, 3 and 4 Ultimates. See you guys later.